In this video, I want to just quickly show you how you can configure your devices from scratch inside of Cisco's Viral. Remember, with Viral, there's two approaches. You can have Viral pre-install for you routing protocols and all kinds of configurations, which is a nice feature. But a lot of times, we want to practice configuring our devices from the ground up. We don't want any configuration on them whatsoever. So I'll demonstrate both of these approaches in videos here at AJSNetworking.com. In this one, we'll do the for scratch, uh, from scratch approach. So you notice I had launched Viral for us, and then I launched the VM Maestro product. I'm gonna come here to the folder and right click it where I wanna create a new topology. And I will call this PIM dense mode because I'm gonna be using this in a PIMS dense mode, or PIM dense mode demonstration that I'll be doing. So, okay, great. I got the blank topology file. I'll click here to go into design view. And in design view, I'm gonna be you know, clicking the objects that I need, selecting those objects that I need and just dropping them into the topology. Let's see, I don't need to see this projects anymore. So let me shrink it and that'll allow me to get more room to see the different objects that we can choose from. All right, um, let's go and grab those. All I'm gonna be doing is routers and switches here is all I need. So let me find our iOS V and then the layer two switch, perfect. So I click here and then click in our topology to drop in the device. I need one router here, one router here. Then I need another router, another router. Then I need my switch. And then I need just two more routers. We'll put them over here. And those are the devices that I'm gonna be configuring from scratch in my topology. I'll then connect them up. So we have connections as follows, and we're just clicking on each device here to make these connections. We have a connection here and here and here to here, and then finally here to here. All right, great. So there's the topology that I need. And notice, once I'm done just clicking around in the topology palette, uh, I'm ready to go. Because I want to configure these from scratch, the key is, is that we're not going to go in and select devices and then make changes in the node parameters or the auto netkit parameters to make configurations automatically for these devices. When we want to configure from scratch, once we've gone in and built the topology like this, we're going to go right to the launch simulation button. Now, it'll tell us that there's unsaved changes in the topology editor. Yep, we understand that. That's okay. Go ahead and save those changes and then launch the simulation. The key is what we did not do and yes, we want to launch this in simulations view now. So they click this button over here for us automatically as they're spinning up the simulation. That's great. What we didn't do was build initial configurations. That's the typical viral workflow, right? You design a topology, then you make changes to the parameters in Auto Netkit, then you build the configurations. We didn't do that. To configure from scratch, what we did was built the topology and then ran it right away after saving it. And I'll pause the video here. When we come back, we'll look at one of these devices. We'll console in to one of these devices and we'll see that it is from scratch, no configuration on it, ready for us to build the configuration from the ground up. So things have come up and to prove this to you, let me go to a device that would definitely offer pre-configuration if we had been using viral in the traditional sense, this switch right here. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna telnet to its console port. The telnet window will come up right down here. I'm gonna hit enter a couple of times and we're gonna to get to the command line. And if we do a show VLAN brief, for example, we can see that it's just the default VLAN that is on this switch. 
this switch is completely unconfigured. Notice the default host name of switch. So we get to configure this topology all from scratch. And again, this might be the goal that you want when you're working in viral. I flip-flop back and forth, as you might guess. Sometimes I need to take advantage of pre-configuration in viral. Let's say I want to do some practice with BGP and I want viral to set up the underlying IGPs for me. Great. But sometimes, like in this multicast example that I'm going to be demonstrating for learners, I want to build everything from scratch. And that's what we've seen in this video. Thanks so much for watching.